Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing a what I eat in a day. Also, how I make my almond milk, my beef liver smoothies. Yes, you heard that right. And then at the end of the vlog, I'm gonna insert clips from Owen's third birthday. We spent a week out at the river, so I wanted to share those with you guys. So I hope you all enjoy today's vlog, and let's get into it. It is six o'clock right now. I'm getting a little bit of coffee and a little bit of food before I go to Orange Theory to work out. So I go to Orange Theory twice a week and then Andrew goes to CrossFit two to three times a week. The kids are up really early. Usually they're up at six. So by the time I'm leaving, they're waking up. They got up at like 5.45. Even though last night was 4th of July or yesterday was 4th of July and the girls stayed up super late to watch fireworks. Oh, went to bed because he was afraid of the fireworks, but Violet's still sleeping. But anyways, I'm gonna get my coffee going and head out. And this is what I've been using for my coffee and it is so amazing, wow. I find my sprouts, if I can, I get Owen raw milk. They're sold out very fast, but I saw that uh, raw cream and it just tastes so delicious in coffee. And there's just so many really great health benefits for raw cream. Okay, so since I am running a tad late, I'm going to bring a little bit of this with me in the car. Drink some on the way over. But I don't do any sugar in my coffee and I haven't for years. I just like a little bit of milk usually. Um, typically I do almond milk, but I've been slacking. I also gave the kids a little bit of this perfect bar. I'm gonna have a little bit for myself and take that with me too. All right, the kids are all having some yogurt and granola and raspberries. And these are from the river from Owen's birthday. Also some chicken and honey mustard. How's your yogurt? Good. Good? Yeah. Yeah? You didn't finish your little bar? No, because it's the... No, 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 that's not mine. Oh, it's not? No, 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 that's not mine. I'm gonna make myself some eggs because we have dance pretty soon, but um, I'm gonna go get finishing ready. But this is the yogurt that I get for them. It's really, really good. I mean, and then I got a rotisserie chicken last time I was at the grocery store and I just shred it right when I get it, when it's warm and it's so much easier to shred. And then we have chicken, which is easy to grab for the week. All right, I finally made some eggs for myself. So I did three eggs, scrambled with some red onion, shredded cheese, salt and pepper. We are back from dance and I just got lunch for all the kids and I've been kind of snacking on stuff. Ever since I started doing Orange Theory, I get so much more hungry throughout the day and I just need to kind of adjust my diet because I need a lot more protein and just to be eating better, like more substantial things. Um, so let me show you what I made for the kids. Pretty quick and easy. And then, oh, get a napkin. Um, I'm gonna make myself two shakes. I'll show you what they have inside of them. I also got these the other day at the store and they're really good. These dipped banana bites with dark chocolate. So once we got home, I felt like faint. Oh my goodness, I did not eat enough this morning. So I just had a little bit of rotisserie chicken with some honey mustard just to kind of get me through getting lunch for the kids. And then for them, I made them each, we got some watermelon here, and then some sourdough bread with peanut butter and jelly. We get ours from Costco. And then Owen's actually, he, his favorite sandwich is peanut butter, banana, and honey. But our bananas aren't super ripe right now. And then I also gave the kids some hummus. I made this yesterday and it was so easy. I did garbanzo beans with garlic, cloves, olive oil, water, and lemon juice, I believe, that was it. And it turned out really great. We got a, so much from this too. Uh, we got this little guy, this Cuisinart. It's like a food processor, a smaller one. And I don't know why I haven't had something like this sooner. It's just so handy. Andrew loves, ceviche it's his favorite thing in the world so we made it this weekend or he did at the river let's move this out of the way um and he was saying like what if we got a little chopper so that's how we got the onions for everything to kind of go quicker we definitely did too much liquid this time it was better at the river but 
It's just so delicious with some chips and it feels just light eating it and it's just refreshing. So good. We did avocado, uh, onion, tomato, we forgot cilantro at the store, and shrimp, jalapeno, salt and pepper. I started making my protein shake and realized I forgot to start my almond milk. So we're not gonna have almond milk in this, but let me share how I do my milk. Super easy. First, you wanna soak a cup of almonds in some water for a few hours. Uh, sometimes I leave it overnight if I remember. Sometimes, like right now, I just put in here and I'll, I'll finish this in a few hours later today. But soaking them in water helps soften them. It helps just make them more creamy and easy to blend. I do a cup of these organic almonds from Costco. A lot of places, like recipes say two cups. To me, this t it tastes the same whether I do one cup or two cups. And almonds are not cheap, so I'm just gonna, I usually just do one cup. And I typically just eyeball it, but I just sit these out, let them soak in the water, and then we will blend it up later. Let me share my protein shake that I make. Now I do a scoop of protein powder. I just opened this one up. This is new, the Vital Proteins Chocolate Collagen Peptides. My favorite protein though is the Be Well by Kelly. I'm gonna link it down below. It's really a great protein, but I wanna use up. I have this one that I figured I would just use before I buy another one of hers. I do a scoop of organic creamy peanut butter from Costco, again. Half of a banana. Usually I do frozen bananas, but we're all out, so we just have that. And then I do about a tablespoon of cacao nibs. It makes it taste like chocolate chips are in here. And then about two teaspoons or so of chia seeds. A little bit more cacao nibs than the chia seeds. And then I uh, ice and then top it with some type of milk. Ideally almond milk, you could do coconut milk. Andrew got the cheap milk. I might do like half of that and use some of my raw cream. Protein shake is done, it's so good. Andrew loves the shake now too. He likes it more, I like it more too, than the one in Nectar. And he always wants me to take him one at work. So I'm gonna drink this and then I'll share my second drink that I'm gonna make next. Okay, moving on to my next smoothie. I try to do these earlier in the day, but actually I tend to get a little bit of a boost of energy when I drink this. So this is my beef liver smoothie. I know it sounds super nasty, but I've been doing a lot of research about <clears throat> beef liver and a lot of recommendations on replacing your multivitamin with beef liver. Um, if you guys want to check, I would go to Primally Pure's Instagram account and they have a bunch of posts talking about it. So, I mean, main thing you want to like have a great source for your beef liver. I get mine from Primal Pastures. I mean, my friend kind of went like halvesies on it so we can both share. So I have mine in here frozen in this little jar. So when I first got it, I it was frozen. I thawed it not completely, just enough so that I could cut it up. And I cut it up into little pieces. So it's so funny, I keep this in the freezer and the girls are always like, can I have some chocolate? I'm like, well, this is some chocolate. But I put it in a little um, chunks like that. And then I laid it out on a, a parchment sheet on a cookie tin put it in the freezer so they were like super frozen. Then I transferred them into this jar. So then when I make a smoothie, I literally just take one out and plop it into my smoothie. So I have a little bit of orange juice, about four strawberries and ice. That is it. You can do raspberries too, but it completely masks the taste. I don't taste it at all. Um, my friend, that like thaws one out completely and then she puts hot sauce on it and swallows it. So there's tons of different ways you can take it. I just prefer to drink it in like a slushy form. Um, so let's blend this up. This is what it looks like. I try to do less than this. I don't know why it made a lot more, maybe I did too many strawberries, but literally it just tastes like strawberries and orange juice. It doesn't taste like anything. And then here's the orange juice I have. I just try to get organic. 
And then these strawberries are the ones I used. Mine's pinned out of eight. Mm. Okay, we are going to make some protein bites. Protein food. Wait, do we have marshmallows? One cup in there. Right here. That's a quarter, quarter cup. Mm. So four of these equals one cup. One cup is the biggest one. Mm -hmm. So I eyeball these all the time. I don't have a specific recipe. You know what else we could do is coconut. Okay. So I think we have some. No, the camera's really small. I can't even see it. What don't you do? A quarter cup of coconut flakes. Okay. So a quarter is a fourth. I know you have coconut. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Oh. I meant that one, sorry. Oh. That was my fault. Here, okay, that's my grip. This. Okay. Now it's gonna come fast for the balls. This is going backwards. Yeah, that's how I like it. Oh, you like it like that? Okay, time for the maple syrup. Okay. Let's do a half a cup. Half a cup? Half is, yeah. Okay. Ready? Thank you. You wanna try to do it by yourself? Mm hmm. Okay. One more? Good. Nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. What's the peanut butter? It's coconut peanut butter. Coconut peanut butter. What? I put in. Yeah. Here comes some chocolate chips. Okay, thank you. Can I get some one? Mm-hmm. Okay. Let me get one. Yeah. I think we need a little bit more oats. I'm gonna pour these in. Keep mixing up. And then I'm gonna do a little more peanut butter too. Flax is also good. We do not have flax meal. Huh? Hmm? Oh, you gotta get that off. That's good. And we can also add is some um, chia seeds. Look. Look at tiny seeds. They add a little protein. Oh, we need protein. We have protein? We have protein. Chocolate protein? Chocolate protein. Oh, sorry, Kyla. Big job. And a little maca powder. It's not like a diaper. Okay, our balls are done. They yeah. look fantastic. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do is sprinkle them with some sea salt. A little more. I'll do a touch of this. This is some Celtic sea salt. And then I'm gonna pop them in the fridge. These go pretty fast around our house. Okay, good work, Violet. Also, we named we found this grocery shopping yesterday and Violet named her... Monday. Monday, how cute is that? Drain the water from the almonds. I'm gonna pour that into my Vitamix. And then I fill this with water. And I fill it to about almost the top. Okay, water is in. So I'm going to turn this on. And I just increase the speed until it's all the way, <laughs> all the way blended. And then I'll add in my seasonings. All right. Any little 
left. And then I add a little bit of Celtic sea salt. We're gonna do a little cinnamon, a little sea salt, and then I either do maple syrup or honey. I've been really liking honey. Or you could also do some vanilla extract. But we're gonna do some honey. into a big bowl. I like having a pour spout here so I can pour it into my milk jugs and then you wanna have a cheesecloth. This is actually just like for nut milk specifically. It's my favorite type. I'll link this down below. have to shake it up a bit but these last me like probably two weeks one week for each of them they come downstairs and I said they brush their hair all smooth have a nice style nice little robe turn around let me see what your robe says but they didn't want to do a fashion flower show. girl they're gonna be flower girls we don't like to be make big messes yeah oh. but what I think you do like to make big messes. No, that's no, why you said our friends like Not to make big messes. I see the big messes all the time. Okay, I took the broccoli out and I put everything in a pan with my rotisserie chicken, some butter, and a little cream. And I'm melting this together just to kind of form a little bit of a cream sauce. I also added some shredded cheese. So this is our dinner. So yummy and we will definitely have leftovers. So that is it for my what I eat in a day. I'm going to insert the clips of Owen's little third birthday here. I hope you guys all enjoyed today's vlog and I will see you very soon. Oh my god, that Owen is something in there for you. Mom, can you open the tape? Mm-hmm. You like oh, it? Let me open this one. What do you say to Violet? Violet, this Violet. She picked that out for you. Can I It's a controller, Owen. Where's the controller? It's a remote you control. Can, you can control the car. Let's see. You can, you can like move it. Where is the controller? Oh, really? Then it was in me here. Okay, check it. Walkie-talkies. Walkie-talkies. 
My name is Mom. We'll have to show you how to use those. Check out your card. It's an Avenger. Open it. They made a special card for you. Can you name who those guys are? I want the Hulk. Hulk and the Avenger. What is this? Thor? That's Thor, yeah. And Captain America. Yep. A lot of building going on. Spider-Man suit. Spider-Man suit. A new one. Yeah. Look, this is what it looks like. You gotta push this one back. Oh, you did. It looks like that. Yeah. Do you wanna wear it? Yeah. See what else you got. Ah. I'm gonna go and try it. Ah. That's cool. We'll get these candles lit ah. and then. So, Owen, you gotta wait till we finish your song and then we'll blow them out, okay? Happy birthday, can I have a birthday board? Yeah. Right. Everybody, you ready? I lose my breath whenever I see you. You stole my heart, what is it that you do? My life was great till you added color. Set my world on fire You set my world on fire You set my world on fire 